Hey, pretty amazing YouTube. This is Rob Bay speaking. And yeah, basically Eden Zero, the first chapter has just come out. Fairy tale author or manga artist Hiro Majima has released Eden Zero. And wow, this feels this feels a bit different from fairy tale, but because of some certain aspects, some certain elements, it feels a bit like fairy tale, and I will explain in a moment. Before I go over this first chapter, I will, you know, this is just a first impression video. This is not really too much of a review, actually. It sort of is a review. I'm confusing myself a bit, but basically what I mean by that is that this is just, I'm not going to dig too much into spoilers. I'm just going to say, you know, what the story's about, like the first chapter, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll give away some spoilers, but not major spoilers, like maybe on some backstory with the main character, Shiki, and that's all I can say pretty much so far. So let's, let's just go right into this. So let's go over the, the two characters, or the three characters that you can see right here. So basically, the black haired character that kind of looks like a combination of Natsu and Grey. Basically, his name is Shiki, and yeah, when I was reading this chapter, some of the angles, like the animation character designs, looked a bit similar to, of course, Natsu and Grey. But I mean, I, I, mean, I guess he kind of stands out a bit from them, because I mean, now I mean, he kind of reminds me a bit of not just Natsu, but like Goku as well, like like kid Goku, like because of how ignorant and just stupid he is. Because basically Shiki, he he's been on this world, like this one island for so long that he's never been to the outside world. Well, I mean, as far as we know, basically he was raised by some guy named the Demon King, who he refers to as his grandfather. But his grandfather somehow died or something. Like maybe he like his grandfather's a robot. He malfunctioned or something. Basically, uh, Shiki, you know, he, he's never really been to the outside world, he's never seen humans before, until, until one day, in the first chapter, he meets this one girl, who you see right here is Rebecca, and she has this blue cat named Happy, which you're just like, okay, there's a blue cat that looks like Happy from Fairy Tale, and his name is Happy, like, I mean, I don't think it's the same Happy from Fairy Tale, maybe it's just a different incarnation or something, maybe it's like his... Descended or something. That's like a theory, a theory video for later. But I mean, who knows? But um, but basically, Rebecca, you know, of course, she looks like Lucy, maybe a bit like Juvia as well, only with a different hairstyle, of course. And now, what makes Rebecca a bit different though from Lucy is that I noticed that Rebecca, she has like this obsession with well, maybe not obsession, but I one thing that I've noticed that she was talking about in this video in this chapter was um was that she was talking about, like, views, like, views on, like, a video or something, like, she's trying to create a video, so that, so that way she can get a million subscribers, which is, like, does YouTube exist or something? Like, is there, like, some platform that's similar to YouTube in the world of Eden Zero, or the universe of Eden Zero? Like, like, I'm kind of curious about that, like, I'm hoping we get m more into that later, like, maybe in the next chapter or so. I mean, I'm pretty sure we will, but I'm just curious about that. But she seems like an interesting character, I mean... I don't really know. We don't really know too much about our backstory yet, but the next chapter, though, it did say, though, chapter two, like, the like the girl in the blue cat, maybe on the backstory of these two characters, we don't, I don't really know yet, but we'll have to see what happens, but she's more like, um, she's more like Bulma of, uh, like, Bulma from Dragon Ball, like, when, when Goku and Bulma first met, like, in the very beginning of Dragon Ball, Goku, you know, of course, was already stupid, but he didn't know, like, he didn't know that Bolin was a girl, and he was, and Bolin was the second human that he ever met. So, he knows that Rebecca can know how to fly a ship, of course, because we've seen her fly a ship. So, I mean, I kind of remind me a bit of Bulma as well, because Bulma can do that stuff as well. And she just doesn't seem, she just seems more like Bulma than Lucy. In fact, like, now that I think about this, like, this seems more like the beginning of Dragon Ball. I mean, in some ways, they look like fairy tale characters, but they don't really seem a whole lot like fairy tale characters. Like, their personalities. Because, I mean, even though Natsu was an idiot, he wasn't, like, that stupid. I mean, Goku was way stupid when we first met him. And that's pretty much all I have to say about these characters. Let's talk about the setting and sort of the what the story's going to be. Basically, some of you probably were wondering, like, is this going to be another show focused on magic, like Fairy Tale was? And that's, I mean, I think they did say something about magic, but I don't think it's a really big thing in this world. Like, I mean, it could be like in Star Wars with the Force, you know, 
mean, you have all this advanced technology in Star Wars, but you also have the Force as well, this mythical power. But, I mean, but that's not really the, but that could be the case with Eden Zero as well. Because basically Eden Zero takes place in space. Like, it actually takes place in space. At first you're like, at first you're probably like wondering like, okay, this is taking place on islands and stuff. And then once, uh, when we get close to the end of the chapter, once Shiki goes on the ship with Rebecca and, ha and Happy, he's, like, he probably thought he was gonna, like, oh, I'm gonna explore the outside world and stuff. And then, <laughs> once he gets into space, she's like, no, you're gonna, ex like, you're gonna explore the outside, like, the outside worlds, pretty much. I mean, she didn't really say that, but that's how I thought of it as. And it's, like, an entire galaxy, maybe even an entire universe. And it's really amazing to see that. And another thing, though, I mean, his power, basically, basically, Shiki, he doesn't have magic powers, it seems. It seems like he has something called, like, like, gear or something, like, something gear, I think it was neither gear or whatever, like, either gear or whatever. I don't know, I'll have to look back at the chapter later, but basically, what he can do is, like, somehow he can, like, jump around and stuff, he can float, he can, he's, like, he could be part machine ball, you know, he could be, like, a cyborg or something. But it's really amazing to see what he can do. And, and it's just, it's just I mean, sure, we may have seen this before in some other, you know, types of media. Maybe other franchises, big franchises. Maybe some in anime, of course. But but now with Hiro Mashima, though. Hiro Mashima is really, it, he's really, this is really different for Hiro Mashima. Like, this is something that different that he is tackling. This is like a sci-fi series. This is pretty much like Star Wars or Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's talk about the art for a moment. The art. Hiro Mashima, though, like, Hiro Mashima, he knows how to create great character designs and everything, like, even though, like, some might have been recycled from Fairy Tale of this, it's still really good to see in the fight scenes with, uh, Shiki, like, that, that, like, that fight, I mean, it's not, like, the best fight we've seen so far, I mean, I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of, you know, good fights later, but this fight, I mean, for a first chapter, though, this was not bad for action and stuff, because, like, I mean, Shiki, I mean, even though Shiki was stronger than everybody else around at that moment, which I'm not going to spoil, spoil, he did struggle a bit. Just a tiny bit, I think. I think he did struggle a bit, but he, like, got himself back on his feet so quickly and stuff. Like, this guy, I mean, like, he's really, he's someone you don't want to mess with, of course. Like, it's just like, you know, with Natsu at the beginning, of course, except this was a bit different. Like, Natsu was way, was, like, probably the most overpowered guy in the, in the first episode compared to everybody else. But, I mean, but this was different, though. This was something really different. I mean, I mean, um, it just was. It just seemed like it was. Like, he's just, Shiki was struggling a bit more, and, and not just because of physically, but emotionally. And, yeah, I just, I don't want to spoil that for you guys, but that's just how it was for him. When you get the close-up of the characters, like, on their faces and stuff, like, they did, a, he did a really good job with that as well. Like, when, uh... When Rebecca is, you know, taking Shiki with him, you know, on the ship, and she's, like, saying, like, I'm not gonna leave you behind, you're my friend. Like, you see Rebecca smiling back, and then Shiki's, like, surprised, like, what? Like, that was just a great animation, like, that's just great art right there, that's just great art right there. Like, like, Hiromashima nailed it with the animation. So, here's my question, is this a fairy tale ripoff? Um, I wouldn't say it's not a fairy tale ripoff. I mean, I think what it is is just a combination of some classic shonens and stuff. Like I said before, you know, it's very similar to the beginning of Dragon Ball, and it's of course it has some similarities with fairy tale, especially with you know the with friendship and all that, how important it is. And even though like I mean, it does get a bit cheesy, but it kind of works. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I mean, because that's what fairy tale was. It was just on friendship. That's that was how they won all their fights. But, I mean, and the other thing about this show is, of course, Happy, but, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, go too much into Happy yet, because I feel like we have the rest of the series to go over that later, so we'll have to wait and see on that. And then we have Rebecca and Shiki, who look like, who look like Rei, Natsu, and Rebecca look, looks like Lucy, like I've said before many times. Do I think it's lazy that Haramashima has, you know, done these old character designs and put it in this show? I mean, this series? Um... I don't, I don't really know if it's lazy or not. I think what it is, it's just he's just trying to grab attention. Like, he's trying to, you know, keep practicing his old, you know, character designs and all that. I think that's what it is. I think he just wants to grab the attention of his old fans and just put it in, you know, just get get them to read Eden Zero. I think that's what it is. I mean, I could be stupid about this, but 
but I that's what I believe. I think it's just something different. I mean, or this could be another theory. I mean, this is sort of a theory, sort of. I mean, it could be. So I mean, back in Fairy Tale, I mean, of course we had you know we had the Planet Earth and stuff like a lot of other shows, and then we had Ellis, you know, where you had where you had people that looked exactly like you know Natsu, Lucy, Gray, Urza. Gashiel and all that. We had all those characters that were pretty much doppelgangers to like the earth, to the Earth people and just that's you. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. But basically, um, but basically though, that could be the case with this show. Like maybe the reason why uh maybe the reason why Hiramashima is want to make these characters look exactly like you know the characters from Fairy Tales because it could be similar to that. It could be similar to like the doppelgangers and. You know, an analyst. You know, maybe this is like maybe Atlas was just one of many worlds similar to Earth as well. Maybe maybe this is just the entire galaxy, and you know, in fairy tales part of it, and so it's Atlas. That's my theory so far, but I could be wrong, or it could take place in the future, and they they could be descendants. Like maybe maybe Rebecca is a descendant of Lucy and Natsu, and Shiki is a descendant of. <laughs> Yeah, that that'd be a little weird, cause then wouldn't that make Rebecca and Shiki cousins, sort of? I don't know, but but yeah, it's it's that could be a reason why. That could be a reason why. I don't know. Maybe Hiramashima has a plan for all this. That could be his plan. See what happens. So I mean, I don't think. But despite all of this, despite them looking like fairy tale characters and the the power of friendship, I don't think this is a fairy tale rip off at all. I don't. I think this is different for him. I mean. Have you ever heard of a shonen series that's a sci-fi before? Like, I mean, I mean, yeah, we've had anime slash manga like Cowboy Bebop and, you know, that are sci-fi, but nothing compared to this. Like, this is an actual shonen manga. Like, you've never really heard of that before. This could be, this could be the Star Wars of shonen. This could be the Star Wars of anime slash manga. This could be. If I were to rate this chapter, though, in general, just by itself, I would pretty much rate it a... And maybe a nine out of ten, maybe maybe an eight out of ten. I mean, but I mean the character designs, you know, they were getting a little bit similar to that. But I got used to that. I got to get used to their different characters and all that. Um, it was a good chapter though. Like I give it an I give it a nine out of ten. That's it was just good for a first chapter. I think it was a better introduction, like like a good pilot, but like better than fairy tale. I mean fairy tale. I mean I love fairy tale though. You know, you guys know how much I love fairy tale. Like, it's one of my favorite animes. But, like, I wasn't really hooked into Fairy Tale until, you know, the stuff with Grey and his backstory. I wasn't really hooked into it at all until that. With this show, I think, with this series, I feel like I'm more into this. I feel like, I feel like I'm a bit hooked into it. I cannot wait to see what happens next. I, can, I really cannot. I cannot wait to see what happens next. Because Shiki just seems more, Shiki just seems a little bit more interesting right now to start off with. I mean, I'm not saying he's like way more interesting than Natsu. Just, just at this very beginning, though, I feel like, like I feel like this was a. It, de it definitely had some emotion. It definitely had some action. It definitely had some. It just, it definitely had some good art. It was just one fun ride for a first chapter. Like Harold Mashman, though, did a really good job. But that doesn't mean the rest of Eden Zero is gonna be like a masterpiece. That doesn't mean like the rest of Eden Zero is gonna be really good. I mean, I'm hoping it's going to be really good. I mean, I would love for it to be really good, but you never know. Hiromashima, he could kind of, he could lose his touch with this. He could, but I'm rooting for Hiromashima, though. I'm really sticking with this series for now, and yeah, that's all I have to say about this. And should you read this chapter? Should you read this series? See if you want, see if you want to read the next chapter next week, and then the week after, and then the week after. Just do it. I had a lot of fun with this, and I think, um, I think maybe, like, like, ten chapters from now or so, like, ten weeks from now or something like that, I think, like, maybe I'll do an update video on, like, what's been going on with, you know, Eden Zero lately, and just, you know, what's, you know, what's been going on with Eden Zero, I think I'll do that, I think I'll do that, and just see how, like, keep you guys updated on what's been going on, and see how, see how much has changed or not, you know, if it's still something you should read, or you know something you should read just let just i'm just gonna let you know later but this first chapter go read right now go online read it it's that good okay guys i'm rob a and this video is done and eden zero has just begun